Hi guys, happy new year. 20, 2019 was a doozy, but I hope the new year will be good for us all and the new decade. When I woke up on New Year's Day, I felt pretty positive, so I'm hoping for a good year this year. So I'm back with another haul, and I actually got my Devil Inspired package quicker than I thought I was going to get it. So after Devil Inspired sent out the package, it got to me in about a week, and I was really impressed because I chose the cheap cheaper shipping option which was gonna take about 30 to 40 days so yeah <laughs> I was expecting to get it in January but I ended up getting it before Christmas I was yeah I was really surprised because it was sent to me before Christmas during that you know Christmas rush so uh color me impressed yeah um it's actually January 2nd now that I'm filming this so it took me a while to actually film because I've just been busy so yeah I've been very patient and this bag has been sitting in the corner of my room but I'm gonna unbox it today I also got a package from my friend Nina today and I'm actually gonna unbox that too I think but I'll probably put that in the vlog <laughs> stuff from Nina <laughs> thank you Nina but yeah should we uh, unbox it? <laughs> so this there's a bag within the bag with more bags, but uh, yeah, let's, let's unbox it. So this is how it's packaged with every individual piece inside, so let's open it up. <laughs> I'm excited. It's been a while, so I don't remember 100% what I got. Alright, let's go for the thinner items first. So, I got a blouse. I got this blouse. I thought it was really pretty because I like the see through neckline. It's a. Uh, I think it's like polyester chiffon. And it has little flowers on it. And I got it in black with a long sleeve. I love the little details. This tag is cute too. The next thing... I'm not sure what this is. Is this a gift? <laughs> it says thank you on it. Did I accidentally buy two boxes? Is this a gift? I don't know. <laughs> ah! Oh, I got another blouse. Wait, is this a gift? <laughs> I don't remember ordering a short sleeve one. So I think this is a gift. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Dell Inspired. Or the manufacturer. Um, the material feels a little scratchy, so I don't know how comfy this is gonna be. But yeah, I specifically wanted this blouse because I thought it would go nice with my daily wear too, because I wear uh, a mix of like Otome K, a uh, Kaji Yaru, and I guess Larm ish. So I thought it would be pretty. And I got two <laughs> poggers. Next up, I bought another box. Um, it looks really pretty in here. Oh my god, the logo! The tag! Look at that cat! Oh! <laughs> CC cat, I like your logo. Oh my god, I like how the kanji. Okay, this is the kanji for cat. <laughs> and. I like how they incorporated a cat. The cat is cute. It looks like he's wearing a little bow tie. I love it. Anyways, so I bought another blouse. I bought a white blouse. I still am on a mission to get some basics. You know, when I was originally in Lolita, I wasn't like too into the blouses. <laughs> I wasn't like that invested compared to like main pieces, but no, I don't know if it's because I'm older. But I've, I've been like, man, I really need some nice blouses. I got white because I already have some black. A few black blouses now, actually. So I thought those would be, you know, safe starting blouses. It's so pretty! <laughs> I've actually never had um, a pretty blouse like this. Because I've, I've, uh, I've only ever had, like, kutsos. Because um, when I was actively in Lolita, I was a little heavier than I am now. It's a little bigger than I am now, so cut sales were a little better for me to fit my bust in. I've been on a weight loss journey in the past year and I've lost like 70 pounds, so 
I've been buying a lot more clothes, and I think that's partially why I got back to the lead of fashion, because I was like, oh, I can, um, I can feel comfortable dressing up again, because <laughs> when I was, um, heavier, I just felt really gross, and I didn't have, like, the energy for self-care and, like, dressing up, uh, but yeah, anyways, decided to finally buy myself a very nice blouse, I love the material, it's very soft, see through too but it's fine um i live in socal so it's mostly i mean it's like a desert <laughs> it's mostly hot during the year so at least this is a bit breathable and it's very soft i like the little ribbons on the top and then there's a little elastic on the sleeve it just feels very uh, what's the word i'm thinking of feels very luxurious. <laughs> I got it in a size large to accommodate my bust and yeah, I'm happy with it. It feels so nice. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I want to go back and get this in ivory and I think they had black as well. So this next thing I'm very excited for. It's a cardigan from Sugar Tea Time. It comes with an extra button and also this little, little brooch. It says Sugar Tea Time and it's a cookie. <laughs> Cute. Removable brooch. Um, but yeah, I'm always looking for cardigans for daily wear. It's so soft. It's a bit thicker, so it probably won't be good for um, spring and summer. But it would be great for right now. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute and so soft. I keep wanting to touch it. <laughs> the ribbon is removable as well, so that's nice. So I don't gotta keep it on. So the next thing I got was from is from Sweet Dreamer. I got it to go with the GSK I bought. Because the colorway I got the GSK and it didn't come with a headpiece, like a little doll, but also I wasn't really fond of the headpiece. So I wanted something else to go with it. Got this specifically because I thought it wouldn't match the GSK that I bought, and it looks somewhat close. I think it might be more of a royal blue then than a navy, but. But I'm probably gonna wear it anyways. <laughs> so from the front, I don't know how I feel about it. It looks strange <laughs> i mean maybe if my hair was like had more volume so if i wore a wig um because my hair is like pretty thin and flat uh it might look good it might look okay because it's so it's so big what do you what do you think yoshi <laughs> yeah maybe if my hair wasn't so flat it'd look good but right now it looks strange on me because it's so big <laughs> last thing i got in the main attraction is in gsk this is from doris knight and i like how it comes in its own bag <laughs> that says Doris Knight. So this was the main reason why I ordered from Dell Inspired. It's because they were the only Taobao reseller that had this dress and I probably could have just gotten it from the Taobao shop but when I was like looking at it, it kept like, I don't know, it was giving me trouble with the Taobao site. Like I wouldn't load things so and then I mentioned this last time as well in my my Lolita dress review was I'm just getting back into Lolita fashion and it would probably be better to go through a shopping service, but I don't know. I just wanted to take out the middleman, I guess. So, like, these Hubba reseller sites makes it a little easier to order, even though they might be not as, like, cheap as if you just ordered from the Taobao shop in a shopping service. That's something to keep in mind, I guess. <sighs> oh, it comes with a garment bag. That's nice, so I can protect the dress. We protect. So it comes with detachable bows as well, apparently, that you can put throughout the dress. Hmm, I didn't realize I couldn't use these for my hair. Oh, the tag's pretty too. You guys are just gonna have to go through my, me um, staring at the tags <laughs> for every time I review dresses. My tag ranking system coming 2020. Anyways, it's really pretty. It's 
like a window and it's layered so it, there's some depth to it i like that nice nice touch doors night um it comes with uh extra buttons too in case anything falls off just some loose threads and i i just need to like cut them so this is the dress that i saw and i just had to have it as my first dress back into lolita fashion even though i got the other two before i got this one <laughs> but this is this is a dress This dress specifically as well, it should fit, fit my bust as it is now. This dress feels a bit thin though, so I hope it'll be okay. So you can see the print under it. Um, but then there's a lining. Oh, that's pretty. It's two different blues. <laughs> it's a navy blue and then royal blue. I guess this royal blue will go with my headband though. <laughs> Kind of. No, these are all like three three different blues. But I love the print. There's all these cats on it. Oh my god, look at this cat. <laughs> the fool. That's me. <laughs> same girl, same. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> So the dress itself, this, the main part is like satiny po polyester, I don't know, I'll have to look. But the waist ties are made out of cotton, and they feel really nice and thick, and the print is really nice on them too, but the print is still nice on this, it's just, you know, shiny and all that, and thin, which is, I'm worried about. Okay, so that was right, so it's polyester. Yeah, so it's mostly polyester and then the 5% cotton around the waist size. <laughs> but, I don't know, I love the print a lot and it's fine. I'm just worried about like the thin material if it look good. Um, I guess like the thin material isn't bad though because I live in SoCal and it gets pretty warm here. So it would be a nice dress I can wear whenever. I think the dress itself is pretty poofy. Alex has um, inner lining. But yeah, the material itself is pretty thin. But I still love the print. I think the camera doesn't pick it up that well. Because I think because of the shine as well. It makes it look like it's not nicely printed, but it's actually readable. But it's pretty. I like the cat. And it has crosses. <laughs> Me and my crosses. Oh boy. So I put in the ribbons and one of the things I didn't like is when stabbing the, the pins in, it has a mark. I left a mark that's really obvious. And then also on this side, there's some pulling. But the ribbons cover it. It sucks. And then for the bare ribbon, I just put it through the lacing so I didn't have to stab it through the dress. There's like a lot of things that aren't 100% finished. Like on the waist ties. There's like little things. Um, makes me worried about this dress. I love the print though. So yeah, just, just gotta be really, really delicate with this dress so it lasts. and soft. It fits fine. It reaches my wrists, which is nice. The blouse is so pretty. I love it. Uh, it's a bit short on me though. It goes, it's like quarter sleeves. I like it though. It's really pretty. Uh, my shoulders are a bit too broad. But it's really pretty. I love this. I still love this detail. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. If it doesn't work out, I might sell it. My bus. <laughs> oh boy. My hair is now grossly more flatter than it was before because of trying everything. But anyways, okay, so Devil Inspired itself. I don't know if it was the company or Devil Inspired that gave me the extra blouse, but I like the free gift, so thank you. <laughs> um, and I like that they gave me a garment bag as well for the dress. I also don't know if that was the actual Taobao shop, so Doris Knight or Devil Inspired that gave it to me, but appreciate it. So... And Devil Inspired. So I found out about Devil Inspired from Lovely Lore. She was, um, when I was actively wearing Lolita in the past, she was one of the more prominent Lolitas on Tumblr and stuff. So it was nice seeing her still wearing it when I came back. And so I watched a few of her videos and she made a video about Devil Inspired. And that made me curious about Taobao resellers. So I looked into it and I watched a few more videos and one of, like, there were a few comments that stood out to me. There were always debates and like mixed reviews in the comment section of like some people having a good time, having a good experience or not. And there was one comment that said that they were just like a Milano, 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 however you say it, um, puppet site or whatever, which scared me <laughs> because you know, if you're in the Lita fashion, you know about that that whole thing, how they're like a scam and all that. Um, but yeah, so it made me worried to buy from them, but they had like a lot of cute things I liked. <laughs> then another comment that stood out to me was that she was saying that these reviews were from like, like paid sponsorships and that these YouTubers, these bigger little YouTubers were obviously getting their products because they're being sponsored. So that made me nervous too, but it, I don't know, like, I trust Laura's word. <laughs> yeah, so, but Laura had like a few videos on using Devil Inspired and I kind of trust her word because she's been around so long and I don't think there's been like major dr like drama with her, so I trust. <laughs> I was very iffy to order from Devil Inspired and then like right then Laura made another video about how they were gonna have a Black Friday sale, so I decided to, you know, take the risk and try it out myself as a like non-popular youtuber <laughs> um but you know like logically i was like well they're taba reseller so they're just like you know taking out the middleman of having to use a shopping service and like well what, what bad could it be because it's not like they're producing it like because you know how milano was so product wise i got everything that i wanted and um, yeah, they're as they're shown as in pictures. The only things that I was worried about were like more like, like you can't really tell through pictures. I mean, like you can read the product descriptions, but I actually didn't look at like material wise for the dress, but I didn't expect it to be like that thin, but like, despite it being kind of thin, it's still what I wanted. Um, and yeah, I got everything else that I wanted to. So product wise, I would say 10, 10. It's like if there was anything at fault um, about the product, I wouldn't blame the reseller. I would blame the original designer, the original brand for that um, quality insurance and stuff. So um, the only thing I kind of regret, I actually don't remember if for the black blouse, if that was the largest size or not because I kind of wish I sized up. It might have been. I don't know. Maybe I didn't look at the shoulder with either. So that's kind of my bad. Um, yeah, other than that, the only problem I had, I mentioned it in my, my Lolita dress review, is the shipping. <laughs> I don't understand how the shipping works on that site. Like the price. Because like, if you add a good amount of things, the price will jump up. So I usually like buying things in bulk because of shipping charges. Uh, like, I don't want to order a bunch of things and then pay for, like, shipping separately. But, but, I hope with Devil Inspired, it's better to buy 
in smaller books because I noticed when I put a lot of things in my cart the shipping jumped up so much like um I think for this order the DHL was like up to 100 or so maybe more so I chose the cheaper option which was the one that would take 30 to 40 days because of how ridiculous the D DHL price was even though it would be speedier, I could use that money for something else. So I chose the cheaper shipping that would obviously take longer, but surprisingly, it didn't take that long. It took like a week for me, so I might end up just using it anyways because it's cheaper and um, I guess I don't mind waiting, but it, especially like if it happens to me like it did this time where it sends out in like a week, then it's a better option. <laughs> But yeah, so originally I wanted to buy some tights for my dress as well, so I could make a full cord. Um, but when I added those tights, it like, the shipping was kind of ridiculous. It like jumped up $10 or something, and like, usually things are by weight, and I don't know if these tights were like freaking heavy or what, but I... I don't think tights usually would like add that much weight that you would have to add ten dollars to shipping so that bothered me and then i started doing like um so then i started adding a bunch of things in my cart to see how much the shipping fluctuated i added a blouse a short sleeve blouse like a basic blouse and it was like twelve dollars or so so it was a cheaper blouse but then the shipping jumped up more as well and then I added a more expensive blouse, and the shipping didn't jump up that much. Um, actually, yeah, when I added this blouse, it it's uh, pretty heavy because there's a lot of material, but the shipping didn't jump up that much. So I don't know if it's like hidden fees of like, oh hey, I'm getting this good deal on this $12 blouse, but then they slap on like some hidden fee of like, oh, you bought something that's cheap, let me add some some shipping things for money. I don't... I don't know. I, I don't know, I didn't like that about it. It was very questionable. Like... Yeah... I don't know. People have said that Devil Inspired is more expensive of the Taiwan resellers, and I would agree. Um, the only reason, like, I would use them is if, I mean, I can, <sighs> I should just use a shopping service, but, like I said, I'm still dipping my toes, and I just like the convenience, even though, I guess you're paying for the convenience, but, I would, at a certain point, it gets a little ridiculous, but, um, yeah. The only times I would use them is because they carry a lot of things that other resellers don't have. Like case in point, this dress. They were the only ones that had it. And then um, recently there was a Jinji Ito collab and they were the only ones that had it as well. Um, Chinese only to updates, like you can pre-order from them, but it's a bit complicated. I don't know. I just didn't want to do- I just didn't want to- <laughs> I didn't end up getting the dress, but I did like- when I think about it, I don't want to do human interaction sometimes, so... Um, yeah, I think that's when I would use Devil Inspired is because they have a lot of things that other resellers don't have. Yeah, that's my one gripe, is the shipping. But to be honest, the cheaper option of shipping, like, you'd have to wait... I don't know, maybe I got lucky that I got here in a week, but you'd have to wait for your order, but... Um, I did get it, and... It was cheaper, so I might end up doing that in the future anyways, too, but supposedly, I remember Laura was talking about how she talked to, was talking to Devil Inspired, and like, like they asked for input from her viewers, like what they could do better, and I really hope they do implement some of that stuff, like because of their prices are like way higher than other Taobao resellers, and the shipping. I hope they address the shipping, because I hate it. But yeah, other than that, um, communication-wise, they, like, kept me up to date when my order was being updated. Also, the message they sent when you, they sent out your package, it says, totally shipped, and I thought that was really cute. Um, yeah, 
other than that, um, I had a good experience outside of like questioning about the shipping still, and you would think I wouldn't use them because of it, but I would still, um, despite everything, like product wise and like communication, communication wise, I would still use them. It's just the, it feels like there's hidden fees with the shipping that I don't like that, but I would probably just use the cheaper option anyways to avoid anything. This video isn't sponsored, it's my honest review of my experience with Devil Inspired, so I would say you can order with them without fear. Um, I think the one thing with Tower resellers is if something isn't in stock, it'll, like, they'll tell you on the page of the products how long it'll take to get to them. So keep that in mind when ordering because you're going to have to wait either way. So be patient. Um, usually if something is in stock, they'll say, but otherwise you're pretty much, you have to wait. And I think that's where a lot of people feel like they're getting scammed because they don't get their products immediately. The nice thing about Devil Inspired and these Taobao resellers is that it takes out the middleman of having to use a shopping service. And I know like some people who are like younger Lolitas maybe, maybe they're asking someone for like a birthday present or a Christmas present or something. And I know that a lot of adults can kind of not like trust things like having to go through a shopping service. So something like Devil Inspired makes sense. So it's straightforward and they can just order from a website and it makes things easier. So that's why people would use, you know, Taobao reseller, but if you want to buy like a bunch of things in bulk, like a full cord or something, then keep that in mind. Then like, keep that in mind, and if you don't want to pay for like the speeder delivery, and you go for the cheaper option, then keep in mind like if you're applying this for an event or something, to maybe add an extra month in case it doesn't get to you as fast as it did for me. It's all it comes down to if you want to spend the extra money or not. Um, I feel like this was like a mixed review, but, but, um, I'm happy with the service. Like, I was even happy with the shipping. Like, even though it was supposed to supposedly get to me in a month or like 40 days, it got to me quicker. So I was impressed with that. But I guess that's more on the, the shipping company, huh? But still, I got it in a, earlier than I thought I was going to get it. This feels like a very mixed review, but I would still use them. It's just... I'm very wary about the shipping charges, um, and I would be probably be wary of, I would probably only use them if it's something that another Taobao reseller didn't have in stock, or like a pre-order they have exclusively, like the Jinji Ito one, um, and even then I would probably do it in small batches so that the shipping for DHL wouldn't be ridiculous, but yeah. Anyways, that's my review as a non-popular YouTuber that isn't sponsored. <laughs> so that's just my opinion. Please don't beat me up. Uh, and have a nice day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay cute. Bye.